Good morning everyone, it's Leanne from Rivo Creations and I am collecting uh, Valentine Day's, uh, Valentine's Day ephemera and uh, putting together a little bit of a collection um, so I can make some ephemera uh, for my next journal which will be the theme is Valentine's Day um, and this journal uh, will be a part of a giveaway if anyone's interested in joining in um, I encourage you to come over and uh, join in um, and all I'd like you to do to win this journal is to send me a Valentine's Day card handmade of course um, and um, I will put my uh, postal address uh, in this video and all you have to do is say hi I'm sending you a Valentine's Day card um, and please put me in this drawer to win the Valentine Day journal now I will have it finished within the next couple of days but I, at this point I'm just putting together a bit of ephemera something I can put in the journal so you can see uh, what I'm doing and um, join in. I'd love you to come over uh, here and have a look um, where, as I progress with the journal and um, see if you can um, make a Valentine's Day card. Not for me personally but just send me some of your a card uh, because I think that's easy of your work and I would love to see how you make a Valentine's Day card. I really haven't made cards before. I'm making one today, um, but I am no good at it. I know there's a lot of ladies out there that are fantastic at making cards for all sorts of seasons and reasons, and um, I would love to see all them. What I'm going to do is move this pile that I'm working on today over to my right, and I'm just going to start on what I thought I might do. Now, this is coffee stained paper. There we go. Now this is coffee stained paper, sorry. Um, and all I'm going to do is, because I'm no good at card making, I know a lot of ladies are, um, because I do watch a lot of videos. I'm going to fold this over. It probably doesn't have to be too precise because um, I'm cutting some of it off. Okay, there we go. Let's get the nicest piece. It's got coffee on it. And I've got this beautiful piece to my Valentine's Day card. This is a, to my Valentine. This is a beautiful piece of ephemera that I've got a printable of Etsy. And if you go over to Etsy and just put in Valentine Day cards or um, Valentine Day ephemera and you will find a lot of printables and digitals that you can download. You have to pay for them of course, they're not for free, it's a store, Etsy store. And you'll find something to use in your projects. Put in any subject you like and um, you certainly will pick up something you might find very useful in your own projects. And that's the whole idea of these printables is to use in your projects to give you something to work with. And you can find some beautiful stuff on Etsy. I love Etsy. Okay, we've given that a little bit of a beautiful edging like that. And all we're going to do, I'm going to simply do this because I have no idea how to make cards. I'm just going to cut it out. <laughs> Let's just glue it down for the time being. This is just going to be a Valentine's Day card. Now there's no glue left in that. I've got so many hanging around that's virtually all empty, but a lot of it not. <clears throat> Let me just get a piece of paper. Oh, let me see. 
Let me see. I need a piece of paper. Here's one. And I can use it for tags when I'm finished. Okay, let's just put it on there. Saturate it with some glue. I'm using a boss stick today. You can use any sort of glue on this. I'm just going to put it in the corner. I'm going to give it a little bit of a border to make it look like it's um, got a frame around it. Now there we go. I've glued it down. Can you actually see well there? I'm not sure whether you can. Let's move closer. I don't want me on the camera. That's the whole problem. How's that? Can you see? It's closer, isn't it? Yep. And there <sighs> is my start. Now, I am not going to cut it. I'm not going to be that precise. I'm going to be very, very rustic with the way I rip things. Like that. Stick it down. There we go. Right. There's my card. I just have to hold it down for a minute for the glue to dry. I'll just move that over there. There we go. That's better. Okay, now this has to dry a little bit because it's, maybe it's not the best glue to use, but I'll just put a tiny bit more in that corner. It's lifted just a tiny bit. There we go. Um. Okay, there's my first little piece of ephemera. It's just a pretty little card. Now, I could also stamp that. I wonder what, I've got some heart stamps. I wonder if that would make a difference there. No, just three. I wonder if that would make a difference. That might be cute. Oh, we've got these smaller hearts. put it right there couldn't I? If that one looks prettier how about if I do that? Just give it a stamp. So how many again? Let me just see. To there. Okay. Let's just load up our heart. Stamp. Now if it doesn't work we can not worry about it. There we go. Oh, it sort of faded in and out, which is good because it keeps it like it's in that old style. It's faded. I like that. It's cool. Okay. So we've done that. We've got done one little card. Let's do something else. Let's just put that there to dry. Okay. Um, in a kit I bought on YouTube, you get these doilies, these paper doilies, and this is beautiful pink one for Valentine's Day. It is really sweet. I really like it. And um, 
there's all different sizes and they are very sweet now you can do a lot with them I was thinking about making an envelope but I don't know how to I'd have to watch a few videos um, or just sit here and play around uh, which I normally do I just play around um, we could try that making it into an envelope I'm just getting rid of these edges when you cut things out uh, like this fussy cut them uh, the edges seem to be a bit um, what's the word pointy and they le and we also tend to leave a little bit of white space there so this softens it gets rid of those uh, harsh edges it could highlight them but mo most of the time it just softens them and doesn't look as roughly cut as you've done it because <laughs> as I've told you I'm terrible at cutting out things horrible there we go that looks really good doesn't it I like edging these doilies very nice okay it gives it a different look um, I have got some digitals here, not digitals, printables here that I have cut out. Um, I've got heaps more that we can do. Um, here's another doily, a different type of doily. That's a very pretty one. And then I've got these beautiful long time hearts. Got a few of them. Let me see what else have I got in the way of doilies. I've got quite a few. I've got this beautiful one here, which is a brown beigey one. I've got another pink one, which is a very small one. And I've got some of these more of these hearts, um, which I can cut out. Let me just put these doilies together and the hearts together but let's just concentrate on this one at the moment um, just see if I can get that camera working a little bit better boy it's harsh anyway, I'm going to put that light up a little bit too because it seems to be flashing my camera anyway there we go so we've edged our beautiful paper doily which is a printable and I was thinking about putting some sort of ephemera on it that looks great doesn't it well, there's that one that one's a pretty one too isn't it I've got some I've got a lot of ephemera but I haven't cut it out yet <laughs> So when I cut it out, I'll, I'll use them. That looks sweet to my valentines. How's that? That one looks great. I like that. I think I'll do that. So let's just get our placement right. Let's just put him there. Yeah, that looks good. I like that. Um first of all let's edge it because it'll get rid of these white little lines and make it look really really pretty it is a beautiful day here in Sydney New South Wales um, Australia and it is beautiful weather it's not too hot not too cold um, it's a bit of a change of weather because we've had a really big heat wave here um, and Australia day was a beautiful day but it was hot of course very hot like a heat wave everyone was in Sydney at the water not me I don't get around as much as I possibly used to in my younger days. 
um, wherever I go, it's a big upheaval uh, for me because I'm wheelchair bound and my husband is not as young as he used to be so I only go if I have to absolutely can go. I can walk a short distance to the car, get in and out of the car, but I just can't walk around. It's just too painful and exhausting for me. Oh, that looks good. So I choose the places I go to and the energy I want to put into going. But I managed to do everything I want to do. I managed to do the things I want to do because I've got a lot of time. I can't work anymore. So I've got a lot of time to concentrate now. Even though I've got my grandson, my first and only probably, um, grandson, he is practically here every second weekend, which I absolutely love. He is such a joy. Okay. And I put him on my lap, my grandson, and we, um, excuse me, I'm no, just going to move the camera. Um, I put him on my lap and I wheel him around. He's six months now, or getting on to seven months. And he's starting to crawl. Oh boy, the joy and joy of crawling for a parent. <laughs> getting into everything. But he's going really well and I put him on my lap on my wheelchair and we go out to the balcony front and back and then inside so he can have it so I can get to move around with him and I think he seems to enjoy that aren't kids wonderful they are such a joy when they're babies I always dreamed about being a grandparent one day and all my children are, well the, the son that had this child, my grandson, is, oh my gosh, what, 35, 36, can't remember now, <laughs> I better check that up before I get into trouble, um, 35, oh boy, time's marched on. <clears throat> Um, and my younger son, older son is I think turning 37 and my younger son is 33 and the, even though my older son is married it doesn't look like he'll have children for a long time and the same as my younger son, he's a bit of a bachelor, he stays home and my middle son is the only one that's in a relationship that's had a child. So I think that that's the only child I'm ever going to see. <laughs> but anyway, what do you think of that? It's quite nice. I mean, if you put that in a journal, it's quite pretty. Yep, I like it. Now, this is dry now, and I was thinking about shooting it up a little bit, just a notch. And I do have a little red ribbon. I was thinking about putting it on to the cars and a button. Button, button, button. I love buttons. I wonder if that would be good on the top of the. Let me just see. I've got another ribbon here that's a little bit longer. Maybe better. Let me have a look. Yeah, I like that one better. <clears throat> now if we put the button on top, let me see. Yes, that would be sweet, wouldn't it? Let me see if my glue gun's on. I'll be back shortly. Right, while my glue gun is heating up, I thought I'd just cut out the rest of these hearts. Or some of them, anyway. 
while that's heating up so we can finish our card. Now this one here is a beautiful heart. Now I'm just leaving a few mil around the edge of it. Um, just and you can edge it um, with some stain, and uh, that would look beautiful. There you go. Sorry. Yeah, that one is quite sweet. I really like that. Alright, we're still waiting for our glue gun to heat up. I'm just going to cut one more out. Oh, I like this one. This one's quite pretty, isn't it? I'll just cut it out. Is that Cupid? Anyway, Valentine's Day is, I don't know the history much of it except that it's about love and it's about relationships. Falling in love, sending someone a Valentine's Day card. Um, and Professing your love, I suppose. To someone that you haven't done before. Or you've fallen in love with. Might as well cut this one while I'm here. That didn't take long, did it? <laughs> okay, let's just cut this one as well. Won't take long. Oh dear. Terrible, terrible person to cut out things. I am. Don't ask me to cut your stuff out. I am completely hopeless. I don't know why I am. I think I've just lost the art of cutting. Right, Valentine's Day should be a time of coming closer together to as husband and wife. I think the old fashioned husband and wife um, people tend to call their husband and wife these days their partner. I understand why but I, I'm old fashioned. I come from a place where we call husband and wife. It's just more to me more respectful it's not so much business like it's more of a uh, you know I don't know I'm old fashioned so <laughs> let's just see if our gun has heated up and I think it has I'm going to do this in two stages one for the ribbon I'll put some hot glue on that and stick that there And I'm going to try and get rid of these threads that are looming. And here's my button. And I might just put a dot there on the top and then stick the button down on that. Like that. And I'll hold that on for a second. There we go. And there we go. There's our button. And our beautiful red ribbon, our stamping on our first card. Here's some coffee stain paper. Now you can edge that coffee stain paper, and I might, but not just at the moment. I'll do that another time. Now I found another red ribbon, and I was thinking of just gluing it and putting it on this staff that this young guy is holding with all his little hearts and balloons. It just adds a little bit more to it. it takes away from the harsh lines that I've cut around him, around him and zhuzhs it up. 
jazz it, jizz it, whatever. <laughs> it jazzes it up a bit. That's quite pretty. And then you could write to my Valentine who it is. And that'll go really nice in our journal. Um, let's see. I was doing these. Um, oh, I've got some of those strands on me still. I was doing these um, printables. Uh, and these printables, I'll show you what they are. They're pockets. The Valentine Day pockets and these are printables and I've cut them out already um, and it comes with a little card and all I've done is stuck it together here. I've refreshed the outside with some distressing ink and then with the card I've distressed it I've also sewn on a little piece of fabric at the top and done one of my buttons here, a blue one. I've just put some embroidery cotton through it and left the threads and I think that that changes the harshness of what it is. You just do some little things to it so that it looks different and unique and I think we'll do one of them. So there's that one. So we will need, I'm going to have to clear this tray my scissors away while I'm here. The big scissors. And that's more. And we will have to get <coughs> our <coughs> excuse me. Our scoreboard here and to get our lines straight. There we go, turn it around, do this one as well. Mm, maybe. And this one. Let's just see if we can do that. Okay, there we go, on the bottom, let's do the sides, and the other side, and then we can bring up the bottom, glue that and then bring up the bottom. And then we'll have our little pocket. That was easy to do. Right, now, let's see. Let's just put a little bit here of our double-sided tape. Went a bit crazy there. Right. And we'll put a tiny bit on the bottom. Where are we? Tiny bit on the bottom. Right across. Pull it. Right. Let's just take off the tape. backing. Now these printables, I can't remember where I got them from. I did get them from Etsy. If you go to Etsy and put in that's uh, Valentine's Day printables and you will get lots and lots of printables and digitals come up. Okay, so that's all I've done. I've taped it down. Now I'm just going to trim it because sometimes these cards
can be a bit out of alignment. Maybe because she didn't fold it properly or no one's to blame, it's just the way it is. Right, that's good. Right, I'm going to edge that. Let me get my finger. And I'm going to edge it. It's already edged um, printably, uh, from the printable. But I am going to edge it up and refresh it because they really look pretty when they're edged up. There we go. So there's our first one, second one, I should say. Um, with the card, let me just see for a minute. I'm going to just trim it up for some white bits still left on it. Oops. Sometimes, uh, oh well, I've said it before, I'm a terrible cutter. <laughs> Always trimming things and missing bits and pieces of it really have to fix them up, don't I? Anyway, that's beside the point. Let's just see if it fits into it. Make sure you test it um, in case you need to trim off a bit more. Now that fits in really well. Um, what I'm going to do is not edge it at the moment. I am going to get some material for it. So, I've got some here that I will use. And I don't want a very big one, so I will cut it small, say around there. Okay, so here's my material, and all I'm going to do is machine zigzag the top so it doesn't slip and slide. So that's all I'm going to do. Now, let me just see. There we go. There we go. I'm going to cut all the string off it. Now I'm just using a brown cotton because I had it in the machine. I'm lazy. There we go. Just zigzagged. Then we put it on our piece. But first I've got to edge it. Because once I sew it on, I really don't want to edge it while I've sewn it on already. There we go. Right, let's just put our fabric on. This is a very old vintage fabric. It's a bit of it's upholstery fabric. Um, I've got lots of it spare, so I'm going to use it up as much as I can um, because it is a pretty fabric. Yep. Everything. Now I've backstitched it so it won't open up. Front and back. There we go. Okay, so I've done that and I'm going to put a button on it. Let me just see if I can find one. The last one I did was blue. 
This one I'm going to do. Oh, I've got some purple in here that look really good. What about a purple one? That looks very bluish. How about we do a nice white one? Well, that's sweet too, but it's probably best that we do something with colour so it can contrast the back. So let's do a purple one. Although that looks very dark. <laughs> no, we'll do this one, which is a nice brown one. Okay. Now what I'm going to show you is a little bit of embroidery cotton. Don't need much. I've got a needle with a big eye because I'm terrible at seeing. Should have my glasses on, but I will manage to get that through if I can. Without my glasses on. And I was successful. Yippee! Right. All I'm going to do is put my beautiful button there and I'm going to use one side, go in from the top, through to the bottom, leave a curl and then come from the bottom to the other side. It's not as easy said and done, but I will get there. Trying to come through the material. I'm just going to take it off off to the side for a moment so I can get it through my button. There we go. And then you come through the other side, the opposite side of course. Now I'm just going to take the needle off. So you've gone from the top through to the bottom then back from the bottom up to the top and all we've done is two. Even though there's four little holes We've only put the cotton through two of them. And all we're going to do is then put a knot in it three times to secure it. One, two, one more, three. And I'm going to leave the string uh, because I really like it dangling down. So there we go. There's our button, there's our card, and we're going to put it in our folder, and here it is here. There we go. Okay, so that's what we've done today, so it's probably a good idea to finish up there. Um, we did our doily, didn't we? But we didn't do any of these hearts. I'm just wondering if I could make one into an envelope. Should I try? Oh dear. It doesn't matter if I fail because um, I can always print another one out. Let me just see if I can get this straight. How about if I fold it up from the bottom? Hang on. Like that. Now, oh dear, that didn't work out well. <laughs> I've got to get it in the middle. Come on, Leo. Okay, that one looks like it has. Let me see if I can get the sides in. Oh dear, that's not even. Let me just see if I can get it like that. Maybe that's a bit better. Like that. And then that's probably the top, the pointy bit. So let's just wrap the sides in. Like that. Let's pull up the bottom. 
like that. Now we need a bone folder because these are getting thick. And then maybe pull down the top. So that's almost to the bottom. Let me see if that looks any good. Well, it does, not too bad. Or if we put it just, no, that won't work. It's got to come over that heart bottom like that. Let me see. Might have to fold it so it touches there. I'll show you in a minute. I'll just practice it. What do you think of that? There we go. So we folded the whole heart into a little beautiful envelope like that. Now that would be quite nice. Now I could see putting a button on the front there. Let me just see if I can find a sweet little one. Tiny baby one maybe. Maybe a lemon colour. That might be nice. And all you do is glue it down. Now let me just glue it down. Put a bit of glue there. Even though it's old. Old glue. Gotta change glue stick. I've had it in there too long. And I'm going to See if I can put down my button. I'll just put a dab there. And then I'll put my sweet little lemon button there. Now I'll just hold it down and then I'll show you. There we go. Put a bit of string on it. There we go. Isn't that cute? So you could edge that as well. Um, it sort of turned out alright. Not too bad. I'm going to edge it. The baby buttons are the cutest. If you can get some secondhand baby buttons from say Vinny's or online or somewhere or Etsy, anywhere, uh, they are cute. So there's another piece of ephemera I made from one of the hearts. So I'll just go through them again. There's my blue one, blue button one. My Valentine's Day card. There we go. Then we done our other one together. That one there. And then we did our, first of all our card. And some coffee paper. And I am going to edge that so that look nice. And our journal. Then of course our little envelope. And then we did this huge doily one. So that's what I've done today. So I hope uh, some of that helps you. Um, but don't forget the challenge that I've got going is I will leave my address of where to send your Valentine's Day card now. It, sh it won't take much. It's just one little envelope. Um, and I will um, show them on my channel. And I will also pick a winner from those entries and you can win my Valentine's Day journal and I will post uh, anywhere um, because a lot of my um, subbies are overseas there's a few here in Australia but overseas so until I see you next time um, please join in that challenge, send me a Valentine's Day card, handmade of course, and I will catch you next time. Bye for now.